Hey guys, happy Saturday. Tim here. Uh, had a birthday this past week. Uh, turned 62, and I'm not really sure how the hell that happened, but here we are. Uh, so my lady Robin got me a nice gift, and I wanted to share this with you guys. It came in this little thing right here. And it is a brand new Strayrazer. Check it out. It's got these uh, really cool kind of reddish brown. And I don't know if you can tell. Uh, maybe there you can. It's a translucent uh, tortoise shell. It's really cool. It's got that tortoise shell looking. And there's a razor right there. She got this from West Coast Shaving. It is a uh, 5 8 uh, round point, obviously, full hollow grind. I went on their website and looked at it, see if I can get the right on the camera there. There's that. And it's got the, got the West Coast shaving back there. And then on this side of the tang, it says, I don't know if you can read that, there it is. It says, uh, handmade in uh, uh, Solingen, Germany. So I thought that was kind of cool. And another thing I thought was really interesting was the tang here is real thick. It's like 3 sixteenths of an inch thick. So I thought that was pretty cool. So I went on her website and looked at this thing and I think it's shave ready. It doesn't really say. Uh, it kind of says it is, so we'll find out real quick, I'm sure. So if this goes south, it's no big deal. I'll just uh, send it out and get it honed. Uh, but I'm going to give it a go anyway, so I haven't used this. I just picked this up uh, Thursday. I opened it Thursday, but I just thought it was beautiful, nice razor. It's got a little heft to it. I really like it. So uh, let's see if we can uh, get a shave with this thing. And for our soap, we're going to use our Ariana and Evans Asian Plum, one of my favorites right there. Uh, we'll finish it up with the matching splash, and I'm always raving about Ariana and Evans Splash. Uh, definitely get their splash if you get a soap. And brush-wise, we're going to use, I'm in the translucent mode today, I guess we're going to use our Haircut and Shave Co. Barber pole, the old translucent barber pole with the tuxedo knot, and I think it's 24 millimeter. I don't know. Everything I'm using in this shave today uh, was a gift, so that's kind of cool. So, anyway, let's just throw a little water on the face. I generally stop the videos here, but I'm going to just kind of keep it rolling and see if I can get a lather. I did throw a little bit of coconut oil on my face. I think I told you guys about hacking my uh, neck up right here with the Chevette, constantly open, opening up the same wound. So I've been treading really lightly right there and started using some coconut oil to kind of soften that skin up there. I was actually getting like a little rough spot you could feel. So I thought, God, I gotta knock that off or I'm gonna have some real issues. Uh, and fortunately, in my last three, I think three or four shaves with the shave head, I haven't opened it up, so uh, that's always a plus. And I've pretty much been doing, uh, well, I have been doing any shave that I'm not putting on camera, I've been using my shave head because I'm just trying to, you know, get proficient at it. Uh, and I thought, you know, the only way you're going to get better at this is to just keep doing it. So I put a little water in this soaking, so I'm going to dump that out and... Uh, Put that on my face. Also, I figured that won't hurt. But uh, yeah, so here we are, and I'm trying a new camera angle, and I think I might have the camera a tad bit high, but I'm not going to change it now because I got this phone and mount thing all jerry rigged on the mirror, and you're looking outside my bathroom, which I hope that glare is not too much. The sun's actually shining in Oregon today. Go figure. So. You might see a deer walk by. We got a black-tailed buck that we've been feeding for about eh, close to close to a month now, man. And he comes by every day like clockwork. I don't think he's actually leaving our property. Uh, I've got five and a half acres here, and I'm back behind, back that way, and it's all wooded, so there's plenty of cover for him. And there's a little creek that runs back through there, so. Uh, 
you know, he can get water and cover and he's obviously getting fed. So he's got like no reason to leave. So all right, got that thing nice and wet. And let's just see what I can do with the Ariana and Evans. That brush is more than wet enough. And uh, I'm notorious for overloading because what I hate is getting scrimpy with soap. And I'll, uh, you know, I'll go back to the uh, tub, puck, whatever. I'll go back between every round, I don't care. You know, I know some guys just load up the brush once and go with that, but yeah, I don't give a shit. I'll, I'll keep loading soap in there. I figure, you know, soap's not cheap. I'm not going to short stroke myself on soap. So let's give this a try. I'm going to try and figure out if I want to look straight here, look at you guys. I'll probably do a little combination of both, but we'll see what happens here. Like I say, I don't generally uh, lather on camera, but I was watching some videos and reading some comments, and I thought, you know, maybe I'll do a little more of that. My main reason is, is I get impatient, and I'll hurry stuff along. And the other reason is, I try to keep my videos short because my internet here where I live is just, just sucks. It's just terrible. And I mean, sometimes it takes 20 hours to load a video up. But I'm heading over to my brother's tonight for dinner for a little birthday celebration. And uh, I'm going to uh, pirate on his internet. So I'm going to film this and uh, get cleaned up. And then I'm going to run over there and load this video up. So it's Saturday afternoon. So this might be loaded up Saturday evening. So we'll see. I'm going to add a little more water to this. It's got quite a bit of water because I went in really wet with my brush. But man, uh, the Asian Plum, that's been around a couple of years, I think. It's a great scent. It's uh, got kind of this spicy, uh, spicy thing, you know. It's not just plums. It's, I mean, it's got, you can smell plum in there, but it's got, I don't know, some kind of ginger or something in there. Go in there. A&E's website, and you can get the scent profile off of it, but I don't have it off the top of my head right now, so. But it's just a uh, top-notch, top-shelf soap. So, I think, I think we're in pretty good shape. Like I said, I am no lather master. There's plenty of guys out there that are better at lathering than I am. I've always just kind of thrown it on my face and went for it. But I'm trying to get better at it. And I think my biggest problem is I don't put enough water in it. I go in too dry. I've been watching my friend, the shaving butcher, and you know he's good about getting a lot of uh, uh, water in his. Lather, so I'm trying to uh, kind of emulate him on that. But man, this is just an awesome scent. It, the whole bathroom will smell great. All right, I'm gonna go with that. I'm not gonna worry about cleaning myself up that much. I'm just gonna run with this. So we'll get it off my earlobe. So that drives me crazy when it's on my earlobes. All right, so the West Coast Shaving Five Eights. Let's give this baby a go, and I'm gonna put my old man Cheaters on too, just so I don't mess up. Hopefully, I keep this on camera for you guys. Well, it's not tuggy. I'd say this thing is shave ready.
I may not be shave ready. Got soap on my glasses. I may not be shave ready, but I think the razor is. Oh yeah. See, there's the I did the the Johan move right there. Not too bad, guys. It feels pretty comfortable. Not too bad at all. I will uh, be very careful rinsing this off. I've got a towel here, so I'm kind of wiping and rinsing and trying to be real cognizant of not getting the pins wet. I'm not sure, but I think those are brass. They look brass. They're gold colored. So I don't know. You guys tell me. But uh, a really cool razor. I'm really digging this thing. Uh, great gift. I'll tell you what, Matt. <sighs> Totally outkicked my coverage with this woman. Trying to figure out, uh, still working on what grips I'm trying to use. And... My angle of attack. But uh, so far, pretty happy. Pretty happy. Keep switching. So my Weck razor showed up this week, but my uh, my blades, my Persona blades, haven't gotten here yet. So wow, that feels pretty good. Not too shabby. I don't see any blood, so that's a plus. Uh, I'm going to rinse, guys, and relather. So I'm going to put you on hold, and I'll be back quick. I'm already almost 15 minutes into this, so hang hang tight. All right, guys, we are back. Let's give this a go.
Sorry for the lack of talking, but this is some total concentration. All right, that wasn't too shabby. Camera a little better, I apologize. Not too shabby. It's actually pretty smooth. Clean this little bit up here and we'll call this good, I think. right there I can live with that all right guys I think oh yeah that's nice nice just the one little weeper right there and that's it oh I love that that's really a sweet little razor uh, I'm going to uh, shower and do all that and come back and we'll do a post shave and put this bad boy to bed and maybe I can keep it under 20 minutes so uh, I'll see you in a few okay guys we're back freshly showered and uh, cleaned up we did uh, three passes with the uh, West Coast shaving straight razor uh, I did one of them off camera and then I did a cleanup pass kind of down here on my neck uh, <clears throat> but man really nice shave great I didn't know what to expect with that bad boy but uh, Shout out to my fiance Robin right there, wherever she is. Uh, nice job, baby. That was a great gift. Uh, really cool. I'm really pleased with that. Uh, what are we going to do now? Oh, we're going to do finish up with our uh, Asian plum area on an Evan Splash. So we'll throw a little in there, like so. Oh, man, I don't want to waste any of that. This stuff is great. I love it. Gonna head over to my brother's. I'm gonna actually put a little more on. Like so. So thanks for watching guys. I appreciate it. A uh, little shout out to Matty Lindholm. I have heard that Matty and his family are down with COVID and uh, want them to know that we're thinking of them and hope they get to feeling better. Uh, I guess they're they're doing pretty well from what I've heard. So uh, shout out to Maddie, to the Lindholm family, and uh, quick and speedy recovery for them. And anyways, guys, thanks for watching. And uh, leave me a comment down below. Um, say hi. Tell me I suck. And I will see you down the proverbial shaving trail. Later.